Now there is just one more thing, the most important thing of all, the data. <laughs> In simultaneous prompting, there are two kinds of sessions, instructional sessions and probe sessions. To get the data, an instructor will need to conduct a probe session. Don't worry, probe sessions are easy. That was easy. If you can run an instructional session, you will have no problem with the probe session. First, the probe session is done one-on-one. -on -one. While other students are engaged in independent work or with other staff, give the student the cue without a prompt. You should give the student at least three opportunities for each skill or concept you are teaching. Mark the data, correct, incorrect, or no response. To ensure that the student has the skill or concept in long-term memory, schedule probe sessions at a time other than just after the instructional session. Okay, thank you for working hard with Ms. Jessie. Go count your pennies with Ms. Erica, okay? Thanks, Claire. Okay, Ryan, I want you to count with me. Ready? Here we go. Take your hand out of your mouth and get ready. Here we go. One, two, Awesome. Put those on your 10 frame, please. Go over with Miss Erica or Miss Amy and they'll help you. You're almost done, buddy. Nice job putting the tiles on your tin frame. Awesome, buddy. Okay, put the lid on your tin frame. Awesome, right? Okay, let's count your stars. You filled up your star sheet. Here we go. Get your finger and let's point. Thank you, Erica. Okay, go ahead and what did you work for, Rai? Okay. Root beer. Awesome job, buddy. And you came over here so quickly. Okay. I want to see how smart you are. Here is your living and non-living sign. I'm going to ask you some questions. What's that a picture of? It's an iPhone. iPhone. Does an iPhone move? No. No. Does an iPhone grow? No. No. Does an iPhone eat? No. No. Is an iPhone living or non-living? Non-living. You are so smart. Here's your goldfish. Good job. Okay, next one. Let's see. What's that? This is a giraffe. Does a giraffe, um, did we see a giraffe at the zoo? Yes. Does a giraffe move? Yes. Yes. Does a giraffe grow? Yes. Yes. Does a giraffe eat? Yes. Yes. Is giraffe living or non-living? Living. Very good. High five. Nice job telling me living or non-living. You get a goldfish. Touch clear, perfect. Touch on, good touching on. Touch add, you did an excellent job. Those were all right. Okay, let's see if you can do this. Okay. I'll do this very cool. Good job. 
add perfect three excellent equal and what is your answer seven that was perfect thank you now i can finish this four five six kyler dallas malia i like the way you're working hard thank you oh, touch hard, clear Students may make mistakes during the probe session. We recommend that you use the four-step error correction procedure when correcting mistakes. One, model the correct response. I do it. Two, give the cue again with a simultaneous prompt to get a correct response. We do it. Three, give the cue again without the prompt. You do it. And four, repeat step three again after a delay after giving the students some other questions or another task to do. You do it later. Remember, the probe is not a teaching session. It's a testing experience to determine what the student has learned. If the classroom teacher wants you to collect the probe data, he or she will provide you with a data sheet that will work best in your setting. The teacher will also probably want the data graphed so that it can be easily interpreted and used for instructional planning as well as providing progress information for the student, their parents, or caregivers. <laughs>